Greetings, beloved human family. This is Gilles Mancier, and I come to you uh, today uh, again to do a very brief, um, uh, a brief commentary on ascension and giving some, just giving some ideas, sharing some thoughts. Um, I hope, um, I hope uh, you, you're having a wonderful day. We are moving into the Epiphany, the, the, the 12 days between Christmas and the 6th of January, so it is a very powerful and light time. I personally went through a personal cleansing, so I need to comment on that. Uh, but uh, well, I have, um, alcohol, I did that many years ago, from the age of 15 to 35, I was drinking uh, a lot of alcohol from, from 5 in the afternoon to 5 in the morning every day. I was in nightclub all the time, having a nightlife. But then alcohol kind of stopped, and so I kind of slowed down a little bit my whole life process. And uh, um, about 50 days ago, I, I stopped smoking, I stopped drinking coffee, I stopped eating meat, I stopped eating dairy product, uh, I stopped eating chocolate, I stopped eating um, um, gluten, which is pasta, bread, and so it's been like very chaotic at first, uh, but now I'm starting to feel more into my, my body. Uh, within the next 40 days, I think I would be like completely... Um, clear of that. Uh, I'm drinking a lot of tea to compensate and I'm going to the gym every day, like two hours to just uh, accelerate my uh, recovery of my breath. And of course, everybody's unique, everybody's different, everybody has to follow his own path, his own timeline. For me, something I should have done like a few years ago, but so I could have done those things one at a time, but now I'm like, uh, I kind of pushed it forward, no, no, I'm doing that later, 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 but now it's like I gotta do that so that um, all those energy that I that I communicate through through my consciousness, I'm going to be able to bring into my physical body as my cell cells of cellular physical body are being uh, liberated from those toxins. Uh, in terms of ascension, I thought I give uh, some advice if you, if you, because I I've been working on that, and um, of course it is a voluntary thing. Nobody is forcing you to forcing anybody to to work on themselves in relationship to ascension. Many people are quite comfortable with 3D, living their linear physical life without coming out of their comfort zone. Um, but um, every effort you make is uh, is very useful to you, to your soul, to your to the whole planet, and so. Every effort will be rewarded, although it is hard sometimes to gonna come out of a, to choose to explore beyond 3D. Um, um, but um, the key is, is actually achieving the to 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 perform very very st all the simple tasks of life with with very very focused attention and and gratitude. And the more um, the more we can uh, put attention into all those little things we do, the the, the easiest, the, the, the more we become conscious of those subtle energies, um, because both, both the, the divine and, and the ego is all in the details. And so um, and the universe does not discriminate. In essence, it is, uh, it is uh, the, the law is perfect. No matter what we do, the law will reflect us. It is an eternal law of perfection. So, so that's what's called karma. Whatever we do will, will be reflected upon us. So there is no discrimination. God has already explored all this. He knows all that. He knows where, where we're going, if, what, if, if we're going to fail, if we're not going to succeed. He already has everything is clear. So he, does not, he will not make this choice for us. We have to make the choice for ourselves. And uh, so, um, uh, so uh, in essence, when, when we want, we, we 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 are connected to this 3D reality, but we are also connected to the infinite, to the, the realm. This is this is the, the heart, of, the outermost realm, the most limited of all world. But we are also connect, co connected to the the most unlimited world of the infinite. Uh, of course, we're looking for supremacy. Uh, then after that, we'll look for ultimacy and then absoluteness before we reach um, inf infinity. But uh, and even infinity is only relative to our own consciousness. But uh, we already have this power of moving through through the heart, we, we through the higher planes. We are able to. We can already go there. Go de develop those inner inner space of infinity where we are able to look at things and rearrange the past the future to see exactly what we want to do so it is um, it is those inner space within ourselves that we have to connect for inside the heart the heart connects all things and it is connected to the the, the, the universe of the creator the kingdom of god as jesus joshua uh, emmanuel michael Jesus said that the, the, the kingdom of God is within you, within us, and, and that is where we're going to find the truth of who we are. With, there is an infinite space within our heart chakra. 
so that is where we're looking for to be guided from from within but uh, or, uh, there is also great valuable information that may come through channels through videos uh, through the, the archangel the, the galactic the ascended masters those are incredibly valuable um, uh, ascension tools and uh, essentially we want to come to to understand the dance of creation uh, i think it was gabriel was talking about this to to let go of expectation and to 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 uh, because life is shifting and shifting and shifting and the faster we go the faster life goes with us so um, and, and and when we aspire to integrate all of ourselves we'll be confronted our hopes and fears will be manifested uh, parallel on parallel reality so everything that we value will be taken away everything that we fear will be brought forward so that we we can embrace that after that the truth has been revealed and, and what what we were truly seeking comes forward to us so there, there is a need for trust that, that this dance will bring us to, to, to more perfection, more abundance, more harmony, more joy, more peace. And so sometimes we have to embrace chaos, for, for chaos uh, is part of the process. There is times where you just create, sometimes you lead the dance and sometimes you have to learn to be led. And so it's about letting go also uh, and letting God at times. So when you don't know where to go, you just allow yourself to say, well, God, I just don't know. I'm kind of lost there or spirit, or angels, show me the way, uh, help me. And because uh, I've, I've reached, uh, we all, sometimes we create, we create, we go, we go, we go. And and oof, we get to a point where we no longer know. So, so we can go back to center yeah. and just say, well, please show me the way. And so uh, the, the essential process is uh, right now that is going on on this planet is to, to, for those who are choosing ascension, to move beyond the 3D, where you, you have to want it, otherwise it's, uh, life will go on, on on the 3D plane. But if you are seeking to ascend, then it's about um, understanding the, your mortal linear timeline, consciousness, and, and integrate more uh, eternal part of your soul, of your, your timeless reality, integrate all those many parts, many incarnations, and use whatever, uh, all the good, um, all the, the best, um, the best part of those incarnations will, will are facets of yourself that you'll be able to reintegrate in order to to, to be fully uh, yourself eventually. Um, for this is the fifth dimension that start to open the, the, the Akashic record, but there is the sixth dimension, the seven, and, and then beyond that, the, 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 the gateway to the, the, the eternal, uh, the infinity portal. Uh, what I'm seeking personally is to integrate supreme light, the supreme truth, supreme reality, truth, beauty, and goodness, uh, Hala, the, 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 the cosmic mind, to become, to integrate at a higher frequency so I can be a clear channel for the higher, uh, uh, could be uh, Yahweh or, or, or the solar um, entities, but Allah is the highest uh, consciousness I have come in contact with in terms of cosmic reality. And it is preparing me for re for, for reintegrating my, my my true spiritual essence, so that I may uh, fully uh, return home and and and, um, and be ready for for the the reintegration of those higher uh, of the Paradise Trinity aspects. And so, uh, so th this is uh, just a personal aspiration. Of course, uh, there is many people that do not even have uh, any clue of any of those uh, things of the spirit, and uh, they should not be judged. Some we all come. Sometimes we come. Uh, some people came just for a life uh, on vacation. So they're just here to like uh, have sex and do drugs, you know. And that's their life. That's all they came here to do. And others, they, sometimes we come to a life where we have to do a lot of work. And so, you know, it's all it's all depend depends on. There is no judgment. It depends on you. You have to tune into your soul to know what is acceptable for you now and what is not acceptable for you now. What God allows you. What is because it, it's different for everybody. Of course, you want to respect the cosmic law, um, the golden rule uh, do no harm and, and you want to if possible uh, respect the law of the land uh, whatever even if there is some laws that are somewhat uh, criminal that have been put in place to serve the, the the profit margin of the corporation you still want to be as respectful as possible of all those laws um, and if possible change them to make them more harmonious so that is if you uh, can work for the people and serve the people but for now, it is good to, to know what is good for you and what is what is not good for you, what is acceptable for you and what is not acceptable for you, which may differ from one individual to the next. Um, uh, God knows your, your level of consciousness. There is nothing to hide. Uh, 
and, and the spirit will never present you a challenge that it thinks you're not capable of handling. Um, so, so no matter how many times we may fail into when when we're presented with a challenge, we may fail and fail and fail and fail again until we succeed, and then we move on to the next level. The more we're aspiring to to uh, to, to reach high, the, the more difficult the challenges, of course, because we we have to to develop a sense of attitude in relationship to what we are seeking and vibrate on the frequency that we are looking to to embrace. Um, but the, so. Um, well, essentially, what, uh, what you, we confronted with the challenges that our soul have decided that we need to master sort of those aspects for uh, understanding that from a spiritual point of view, all that is matter is spirit, although from the material point of view, um, matter is not, spirit is not always integrated within matter, um, or higher spiritual form is not always felt, or, or being, uh, although it is always there. So there is no right or wrong, uh, there is just uh, choices, and of course God is b much more open-minded than, than anybody can ever think, because he knows all, he, says, he sees all, he, he does all, he's been through it all, and so, um, but so he doesn't really, he knows that the law will teach us all, so, but what we want to do is to find ways to, uh, find the right way that lead us away from pain and sorrow, and move us to free ourselves from karma and achieve uh, freedom and joy and transcendental salvation. There is no school on the earth that teaches us that. Um, ascension is a personal process. There is uh, there is great uh, great love, um, uh, light, and understanding and wisdom in the great sacred text of the religion. Although they've all been manipulated, so you have to use discrimination as well. They've also been um, uh, throughout the time. The people have there are certain people that have used that to to achieve power over others. Um, there is um, there is great. Um, great value in listening to, to finding guides, finding uh, um, uh, to, to listen to what life is teaching you each and every day, or even listening to videos or channel messages, or, or finding the books that are coming to you. Uh, although at the end, the, your inner guidance is what the most uh, is the most powerful. Um, um, it will be the most powerful of all guidance. This is where you connect with your guide, with your soul, with your creator. And so, uh, so it is very important to always stay tuned to that and know your guides are here to serve you, to help you on your ascension path. Uh, they are, um, they come from a higher plane, and so they will not deceive you. It is just sometimes there is all kinds of mirror in life, and sometimes the mirror are not; uh, they're just reflecting your your hopes and fears. So there is no, um, there is a higher truth that has to come from within, and there is this great deal of rebirth that will be happening. Uh, that is about to happen this year. So they accept to die, uh, die psychological death, or even physical death, always followed by a rebirth, but psychological death is very important in order to be reborn in spirit. So uh, to allow your mortal consciousness eventually to die, that's what I'm, I'm getting, to, I'm feeling the process to be reborn into a new me, a better me, a more, um, a brighter, faster kind of version of me. And so, yeah, uh, in order to illustrate that, I wanted to show a little painting. Uh, those who have followed my video have seen the, the evolution of that painting. It's called Event Horizon. Essentially, the Event Horizon is here, it's with the I Am Presence and the Souls. The, here there's Gaia, which is the, the, the Earth, called Earth, uh, Earth on the third dimension, Terra on the fourth dimension, and Gaia in the fifth dimension. Then it will be called on uh, the higher plane Ura or Urantia. There is all kinds of little planets that are that are around it. Here you have Atropos, Pandora, Cassandra. There's, uh, and um, yeah, the, there is there's I am, there's Chiron, right next to it, and Sol. The silver silver sphere is representing of the future. It's beyond the event horizon, and there is a great central sun above it. And with the other planet, with Jupiter and Pluto and Mercury, there's Neptune, Saturn, Uranus, Ceres, Juno, Pallas, Vesta, Amor, Isis, Anomia, and here we have Fortuna, Victoria, Venus, Mars, Luna. Well, I just saw that I, I, I showed this painting. It's pretty true. I think it's, uh, it's pretty much finished. Sometimes they, they call for a little bit more, but um, 
This was also a painting that was started in 2008, so finished in 2015, if it is done now. Uh, well, I hope you find this message interesting, that it was some, some, of some use to you. Whatever has meaning, keep it. Whatever, disregard everything else. Um, I wish you a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Namaste.